Hi, it's uh, Kevin Lobates, and uh, today I thought I would talk a bit about atomic swaps. And the reason why I've uh, started looking at them again is because of my earlier post about gaming tokens. Because as a response to that, I've ended up looking at about five different uh, gaming token platforms um, that are out there. It's all very interesting stuff, and I hope some of it really takes off. Um, but when you get a lot of different blockchains, you start having a problem in that you may want to exchange tokens on one blockchain for tokens on another blockchain. And it's not surprising that there's this proliferation. It uh, seems to be human nature. I mean, look at the number of languages we have, uh, differences in culture, differences in the kind of food that we all eat. Um, it seems to be that human beings like to do things differently. Um, so uh, to overcome this problem of being able to, say, exchange one cryptocurrency or token on one blockchain for another cryptocurrency or token on another blockchain, you need something called atomic swaps. And atomic swaps are basically a way for two parties to exchange goods uh, without needing a broker or an escrow agent, uh, because in the cryptocurrency world, you can uh, time lock your transactions. You can basically publish a transaction for which most of the material needed to complete it is there, but some final pieces are missing. Um, you can go and try out atomic swaps for yourself very quickly and easily on multi-chain and uh, Gideon Greenspan has provided a really great tutorial for that uh, where you can go to multi-chain and create a couple of different assets and then you can set up transactions where you can trade one of those assets for the other asset uh, on a particular multi-chain uh, using an atomic swap so that the trade is not completed unless both parties are happy um, and one person isn't going to be left out of pocket. Um, so that's all very well and good for multi-chain, but unfortunately it's just on that one chain. So there is another uh, group out there uh, providing something called the Komodo platform, and it's focused on enabling atomic swaps between different blockchains. So you can actually set up a transaction whereby you can buy Ether from Ethereum using Bitcoin from the uh, Bitcoin blockchain. And uh, Komodo allows you to set up such an atomic swap and um, actually complete the transaction reliably and safely. They've done a lot of good research on it and again they have a bunch of uh, papers uh, at their site that explain atomic swaps in much more detail. But um, if you uh, just want to have a brief overview, it boils down to this uh, being able to lock a transaction in time and being able to provide some but not all of the information for the transaction um, until the other party provides their part. So it's a kind of a bit of a sort of you show me yours, I'll show you mine kind of uh, situation. And the way that it works means that ultimately both parties are kind of putting their cards on the table at the same time. Um, and that's effectively mathematically guaranteed. So it's all very cool stuff. Um, and I'm definitely going to spend some more time looking into it because uh, I really want to understand it in a bit more depth. Um, anyway, there you go. That's a little piece on atomic swaps. And I think uh, those of you who are looking at uh, gamer tokens or game tokens can see that this may well be very, very useful to try and unify a, uh, when, when you have this big set of different blockchains. I hope that was interesting and please tune in again next time. Bye for now.